All right, what's going on guys? It's gonna be the first uh, real video back in a while, but today we're going to be unboxing the AEW, um, I was about to say AEW Unrivaled, but I guess it's technically outside the Unrivaled set, the AEW Ringside Exclusive Blood and Guts uh, Blood Brothers 2-Pack of Dustin Rhodes and Cody Rhodes from AEW Double or Nothing 2019. Um, this box for one is absolutely spectacular. As you can see in the background, uh, I'm holding one right here. But we, uh, we got two because this box was so awesome that I needed one to open, obviously, to put in the display cases. Um, but the box was so awesome that I said, you know what? I'm getting another one of these so I can keep it on display. So we got one back there and we got another one right here. Um, the box, like I said, is just is almost half as cool as, uh, as, as the figures are themselves. This is a ring size exclusive, like I said. Um, this was honestly uh, an out of nowhere reveal when it got revealed in I think like the beginning of December or something like that. Uh, maybe at, end of November, whenever it was, but it honestly just came out of nowhere, um, which nobody was, you know, obviously complaining. They put it up on ringside, um, and then it seemed like everyone was getting them in a matter of, you know, days and weeks. So uh, very fast and uh, very cool to just get something out of the blue from ringside and AEW like that, since obviously we've kind of had to wait a little while for all the series. AEW Series 3 is shipping in like January and February, which uh, I believe I got, I got my pre-order a little late the day they went up, so I don't think I'm getting mine until like, February, but it is what it is. But anyway, when talking about this Blood uh, Blood Brothers 2-pack, excuse me, let's go ahead and let's open up this uh, box, which I always take my time and keep the box nice just because it's easier to open that way, but realistically it doesn't matter because like I said, I got another one anyway because the box was that cool. All right, so even, even the cardboard part on the back of this school, you got a black and white picture of Cody and Dustin. Very, very cool stuff there. Definitely, um, I don't mind stuff like this, because, you know, this is pretty much the same exact, um, obviously, we'll talk about the differences in a minute, but the bases of these Cody and Dustin figures are pretty much the same exact figures from AEW Series 1 and Series 2, um, same gear and, you know, stuff like that, uh, obviously Dustin's is, uh, it might be a little different, I, I'm pretty sure his isn't technically based off Double or Nothing 19, um, it's based off, like, a random episode of Dynamite, I think, but this Cody, this, uh, blue and gold Cody is, a. Uh, double or nothing and that's the same gear as his series one figure but obviously um stuff like this i don't mind kind of repaints and re-releases of if you will because this is it feels like a different action figure it doesn't feel like you know the same figure with a different head or something like that like the cody um and obviously we'll get up close and personal in a second but the cody obviously has a different head scan um then obviously you got all the blood on them and then same thing as dustin with the uh the face paint all kind of you know removed and stuff like that and then obviously they're both covered in blood so Definitely, uh, in cases like this, I don't mind, you know, I guess, redone figures. Um, because even though it's similar, it, you know, it is uh, enough to make a difference. And the whole fact that they put them together, made it a special ringside exclusive two-pack, uh, makes it a lot better than, say, you know, WWE re-releasing uh, the same John Cena basic over and over and over again. And not to take a shot at WWE figures or anything like that. Because obviously, I collect those as well. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's break into this uh, two-pack here. plastic off Cody that they put around the because him and his weight belt I guess to you know protect from paint damage maybe when it's in the box let's see if we can rip this off here there we go all right so here we go we got our Cody and we have our Dustin so let me loosen these guys up a little bit so it's easier to show you guys but obviously both covered in blood that's why this is the blood brothers uh blood and guts two pack um very very cool so we'll start with the Cody here obviously they both got color in that uh Double or nothing match in 2019, which is obviously why they are both covered in blood. Uh, the Cody, definitely a different head scan as opposed to the uh, Series 1 figure. Uh, but this one's got the mouth open. I don't have the, well, it's in my case, but you guys all know. Actually, I got another one down here. One in the box. So this is what the Series 1 figure looks like, uh, head scan wise, opposed to the Series 2 one. So, or, or opposed to the Blood Brothers one. Uh, so definitely some significant differences. Um, and then when you add in all the, the red paint for the blood, I love the hand mark on the chest, um, covering up the dream tattoo. It's a really nice, uh, well done, uh, in my opinion, and just the blood all over, like even on the, the hand and stuff all over the wrist tape. Very, very cool. Um, he's even got some of his trunks and his boots, which I didn't even notice until now. Um, just a lot of detail put into these, um, extra detail put into these figures is obviously, um, you know, like I said, um, it's a similar figure to series one. So you already have the detail from that. And then add in the uh, added bonus detail, if you will. So, I'm sorry, it's not focusing that well on the figure, but it is what it is. You guys can see uh, a good enough look. Let's go ahead and look at the natural Dustin Rhodes now, which is a 
big freaking figure. I know a lot of people are saying his uh, unrivaled Series 2 figure, which I, I assume is the same scale as this, is uh, a little too tall, which uh, maybe that would be the case, but still a uh, very cool figure nonetheless. Um, obviously, like I said uh, earlier, you got kind of the, the face paint being removed there. I wish they would have done a better job. Um, well, I mean, I guess let me look at the picture right here. Uh, I guess they could have done maybe a little bit better job fading the face paint into the blood so it looks more like it's not just cut off and it's more just like, you know, wiped off and stuff. Like, But it still looks cool. And then you got all the blood on the side of the head and they're just all down the, the torso and stuff like that. Same thing. He's got a little bit on his uh, on his pants, not really any on his boots, but that is fine. His wrist tape's completely red, which I don't know if it was initially red. I think it was white. Um... Don't quote me on that, but still, very, very good stuff, man. These are really well done figures, in my opinion. So there it is, the Blood Brothers. Blood and Guts, AEW, Double or Nothing, 2-Pack, Cody and Dustin Rhodes. Uh, very happy to have these as part of my AEW collection. So uh, as of right now, I have every single AEW figure minus the two chases and the two rare figures. I don't know if I'll ever own those, um, just because I don't want to pay insane prices. And when, they, when the Series 1 uh, was a Jericho... And Cody went up on ringside. I wasn't able to grab any of those. And then they, they've obviously, ringside just kind of been shipping them uh, randomly in Series 2, uh, stuff like that. Obviously, I haven't found any in stores. But it is what it is. But for everything uh, normal series and stuff like this that I've been able to get, um, I got every other AEW figure. I got the, the ring. I got the little bit of the bubbly. All of Series 1, all of Series 2, and uh, Series 3 on the way whenever it's shipped. So there it is, the Blood, uh, Blood Brothers, excuse me um aw ringside exclusive two pack very good stuff um if you're on the fence about buying it me personally i think it's worth it i think they're really cool so that is going to do it for this video uh today more videos to come i got some star wars vintage collection to unbox the star wars hot toys clone commander cody to unbox on the channel which i'm super hyped for um because i literally haven't even like opened the package yet myself just to get a glimpse at it so you guys will be getting my live reaction on that which is uh, pretty cool and then I also, I'm going to finish up some stuff in the room today and then probably film a new toy collection room tour uh, today or tomorrow. So that should be up soon as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy New Year because this is going up on New Year's Eve. So it's about to be 2021 finally. So happy New Year and see you guys in the next video. Peace.